So I have a manometer here. Nothing too crazy. I've got an open end tube here. And you can see there's a measuring stick. And I have some fluid filled with water. But, it, you know, originally this was be mercury because Torricelli's earliest barometer used mercury. In any case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a syringe. And I'm going to attach it to the enclosed tube. And now I'm going to make the space smaller for the same amount of gas that's trapped in this area. So by me making the space of the volume smaller, okay, the pressure is going to increase. So I am going to, Boyle's Law, lower, lower the volume by make, forcing the gas molecules into a smaller space is going to increase the pressure. The manometer is going to measure that increase in pressure. When the pressure was equal, sorry, when the pressure was equal, these levels were equal. Because the pressure in the inside of this tube is equal to the pressure pushing down in this open container. So the force on this liquid level is the same as the force on this liquid's level, and thus you have uh, equal pressure. Now by increasing the pressure, and I'm doing this by making the volume smaller, stuffing the same amount of gases in the same temperature and pressure, and making a smaller volume, I'm increasing the pressure. And what we can do is we can measure the difference okay, of these liquids to measure the pressure. Right now, if I wanted to measure the pressure, if this was mercury, we would say that I'm supporting, if this is 4, and let's pretend this is approximately 23, Okay, so this is 19. So from this point here, I'm measuring 19, okay, millimeters. Okay, now of course this I just measured 19 centimeters. So that's 190 millimeters of fluid I'm supporting upward. And I would say that the pressure in this area is higher than the atmospheric pressure pushing down. Right? Manometers use a differential of pressure to, to measure. So right now, the pressure in this syringe, which is connected, is 190 millimeters of mercury higher than atmospheric pressure. Right? There's two forces. There's a force pushing down here and the force pushing down here. Who's winning? Clearly, this side is winning by 190 millimeters of mercury, which, is, by the way, is a tor. So we would say the pressure in here, if the atmospheric pressure was 760 torr, it'd be 760 plus 190, and that's how we measure the pressure here. Okay, if we go the opposite way, make them equal out again, and now I'm going to lower the pressure by making the volume larger. Whoa, how much higher in pressure is the atmospheric pressure? Well, this pressure is lowered, and this pressure on the open end is winning. Let's pretend it's also 19 centimeters. So let's make that 190 millimeters of mercury. So now the pressure in here is less than atmospheric pressure by 190. And so we would do seven. We would do 760 minus, okay, 190, and that would be the pressure here. So this pressure here is lower. Clearly, you can see the atmospheric pressure is winning winning by 190 millimeters of mercury, okay? And again, the pressure in here is 760 minus. When we did the other side, we did what? We increased the pressure. We did what? We said, well, this is pushing back on the atmosphere, plus it's supporting the column. So this is equal to the pressure outside, but you have to uh, add 190 to it in this case if we're going to use that. Okay, so manometers are used. You're subtracting. Here we're equal. Here this side is less than the atmospheric pressure pushing down by this much. And here, the gas here is less than the atmospheric pressure by that much. Now, if we don't have mercury, we can change that into water. So, I'm sorry, if this is water and not mercury, we can compare it to mercury's density by a height times density equals height times density. Because if you have mercury, okay, mercury is 13.6 times more dense than water. So therefore, its height is going to be 13 times smaller. A heavier volume of water, okay, cylinder being supported. Remember, we're supporting a certain weight, okay? And that weight, for the same amount of weight of mercury, it's going to be a lot less volume. 
So if this was water and I'm going to convert it to mercury, okay, I take my, if we're going to use 19, 190 millimeters, I divide it by 13.6, and that would be the height in mercury. So if we don't have water, we can certainly get there by doing those differences. So that's a little basics of manometers. Can I say hi? Can I be in your video? You are.